Hello and welcome. This is Evelyn Brink here from BrinkCoaching.com, your executive presence coach, helping you make the most effective use of the camera and let video do the heavy lifting of marketing for you. Maybe you've already heard that 80% of your communication is not in what you say, but how you say it. How much focus have you put on your voice? Have you trained your voice to resonate? Is your sound liberated or strained? Do you tend to lose your voice? Is speaking an effort for you after a while? Or is it a pleasure? How does your voice feel in your body? I attend events and I see the speakers and coaches and experts struggle and strain with their voices. Now the impact that has on your listeners is that we also start to become more tense and we can hear less and less of what you have to say. Especially if the, the leader's voice is literally going and they're losing their voice. Now imagine you didn't have to lose your voice when you speak a lot. Imagine it became stronger and more resonant and more warmed up as the day goes on. That means you wouldn't lose all this energy and you wouldn't feel as tired by the end of the day, but you'd actually feel buzzing and well. It is possible to learn this, but you do need to know how your voice works. So there is how the voice works and then there's how your voice works. So when I work with clients on camera presence, the foundational training includes looking at your voice and how to liberate your sound so that you can actually make use of this amazing instrument that you have. Now, how many people don't like the sound of their own voice? To me, that is so sad. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I've heard my voice recorded when I was a kid. And what you probably don't know is that my voice was diagnosed as dysfunctional. When I hear those recordings back now, I know why. I sound like a rusty water tap. I underwent vocal therapy and was told that I couldn't be a singer, which is what I wanted to be at the time more than more than anything. I just singing is very important, very important to me. So when I was told that I couldn't sing because my voice didn't work properly, it was devastating. And I went about on a mission to heal my voice. And it sounded like an impossible dream at the time because I didn't have a high range, meaning those high notes. <laughs> they were just not present for me. And then when they became present, there was a huge gap between the high notes and the low notes. And also my voice would come in and go out and be very unreliable. I could lose my voice. It could become heavy and hard to use. So I went and sought out the help of a variety of professionals. And I also spent three months on my own exploring my voice and taking copious notes. So over time, I did achieve what was impossible for me back then and smoothed out my voice and healed it so that when the specialist looked at it a few years later, they said, ah, this is what we call a happy singer's larynx. And I was so proud. As a side effect, I've been gifted the art of hearing what's going on in people's voices and it's very easy for me to detect issues and help you liberate your sound so that it becomes more sustainable and more fun to use your voice. What that means is that we can prevent vocal injury and that you can talk more and present more freely using the instrument that you've been given. It also means that we can alter your sound if necessary to make it more resonant and enjoyable for you and your audience. Does that feel like something you'd like to explore? Then drop me a comment below and send me a personal message and let's take it from there. I look forward to connecting to you. Until then, take care.